The air traffic today is under increasing demand. In most regions of the world, we're getting an increase in traffic, number of airplanes, as well as the number of the passengers flying. So that translates into more demand on the given amount of airspace that we have to operate. So the system we have today is relatively inefficient by most accounts. It's based on decades-old technology, and we have an opportunity to fly the airplanes with a lot more efficiency. My passion for RMP initially at Juno was to improve safety. We were operating the airplanes in a difficult environment, and we as pilots understood that ultimately we were keeping the airplanes safe, but we could do better with better tools. We were doing something that would change how airplanes were going to operate. So what GE is providing is a solution that offers improved environmental performance, reduced noise from the aircraft, improved air quality because we're producing less thrust, reducing our fuel consumption, and providing on-time arrivals and departures. GE is ahead of all the other suppliers in producing a combination of capabilities that take the different sensor inputs and fix the position very reliably using multiple sensors to a level of accuracy that's within the wingspan of an airplane. So our current operations today around the airport, the terminal airspace operations, are characterized by what we call a stair-step arrival, where you have the airplanes at cruise altitude, we bring them through a series of step-downs to level off where we have to increase the power, generate extra fuel consumption, more noise, step down to another new altitude, and so forth through a series of maneuvers till we arrive down at the airport. Now, our future plan is to have an optimized profile descent from the cruise altitude. We bring the power back to idle power and we have a gliding low power, low emission, low noise arrival to the airport all the way to the runway. So we improve the overall environmental performance of the operation. Integrating RMP and FMS solutions to an airline really enhances their operations. West get bought into the integrated ATM program uh, simply because we were looking at increasing our efficiencies as an airline. What we found in Canada was we are able to access airports that otherwise would not be accessible. Another huge benefit that we were finding overall is the reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Because of our performance-based navigation, our FMS logic, we're able to fly approaches that have reduced the overall emissions at WestJet for this year alone by 5,000 tons of CO2. It's just a huge benefit. With this development, we at GE are reaffirming our pledge to eco-imagination, a commitment to build environmentally conscious products that keep our natural world in balance. Delivering on this promise takes innovation, investment, and action, and that's just what we're doing. We're not just changing a few things here and there, we are re-engineering the way we fly. Right now we're working on advanced technologies to make flying worldwide better for everyone.